Well, hello, YouTube. I got a IRE 20 here, a uh, really jerky little machine. And uh, I was watching a video there from Backyard Customs and uh, Southern Style. Both of them had some good pointers for me here. Um, this thing is just a, a beast. It's like riding a bull on this thing. And I mean, the controls are super sensitive. You have to be real, real easy on them, which um, Backyard Customs talked about putting some uh, springs here. And this little, little guy right here, is, as you can see, there are none. So you put a little spring on that post right there, on all of them there, and it'll, it'll tighten that up a bit. So it'll make it a little bit easier to control that so it's not quite as jumpy probably. Uh, but one of the other things here he talked about was the uh, control module there off those sticks. So on this machine here, it's right down here. So you can see here, I've got the cap off of it. So um, you can trace those lines off of that and it goes right up there to the stick there. So I took that off, loosened this top screw right here. Um, you know, make sure these are tight right here. But I loosened this one here up, um, and then I had to actually cut an Allen wrench down to size so it would fit in here because this bar right here, this part of this frame here, it blocks it from getting a regular Allen wrench in there. So I just took my little tiny cutoff wheel and cut that off uh, on, on the end here as well because it hits this otherwise, it's too long. So I cut that off to there and cut this one off short to get it under there because you got to mess with this and you got to move this hose out of the way. This one here is, sits up here a little higher like that. So. Anyway, uh, I went ahead and, you know, tighten that thing down a little bit, just kind of turn by turn. And it does help, you know, but the issue is you can tell it really bogs the machine down. So if you go too far on this thing, not only is it going to generate a lot of heat, it's also going to bog your machine down. So what I did was I kind of backed it off a bit, you know, because uh, I moved it down probably four turns or so. But I backed it off uh, and then cut the machine on and... Uh, you know, I had the, the, the module here off, you know, so you can turn off your hydraulics and turn them on. So if it's locked like right now, obviously it's not going to run the hydraulics, but if you hit the unlock here, it does. So anyway, I was adjusting this. So I brought it all the way back out and I adjusted this um, valve here with it uh, on, with the hydraulics on, and you can hear the machine. So it'll tell you. It'll tell you when it's, you know, starting to get where it's bogging down, you know. So I brought it to that point where it bogged down and then I backed it off just a little bit so the machine runs normal sound when you go uh, from your lock to unlock position on your hydraulics. So that actually turned out to work pretty good. I will say it still is a little bit jerky there, though. I don't no, I'm not sure there's much you can do about it. Um, I know there's uh, more parts you can add to it. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head right now, um, but it's a, it's another, it's an action, not an actuator, but it's like a reservoir that you can add to this. Um, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments here and tell me, but um, I'm not really sure where to add that. I guess I'll have to do a little more research to make this thing run a little more smooth, but I think I got it about as smooth as it can be, which is, it still isn't great, but I mean, it is a mini excavator here and a cheap Chinese one at that. So. But otherwise, uh, I do like the machine, runs pretty good. Um, you know, it does get pretty warm though, pretty quick. But uh, I mean, I ran it out here in the heat in East Texas and, um, you know, digging out stumps and, and, you know, doing some land clearing and things like that. And it was all right. I will say though, uh, I did run into this little problem right here. So I'm not really sure how this happened, but uh, this little thumb here got bent out somehow. I'm not sure what I was doing, but something obviously. So apparently this steel is not very hard, but uh, I'm sure I can bend that sucker back and it'll be just fine. So anyway, hopefully this helps some folks out here. Um, I will mention here too, on uh, Backyard Customs, he talked about that main valve that you can adjust here. Uh, again, one would probably want to have, you know, some equipment to do this, but uh, but this is that main master cylinder knob here. So uh, you see all the hoses going in there. But anyways, this one's the one that goes to the controls. Um, so you'll just wanna 
adjust that one, but I would adjust it slow. And like I said, what I did was I just, you know, turned the machine on at normal and then turned the hydraulics on and then adjusted it slowly until you hear a change in the motor. You start to hear the motor bog a little bit. And then I backed it off from there just a little bit until it is right at running normal again. And that seemed to smooth the controls out a little bit, but again, not much. So uh, anyways, hope this helped y'all. And uh, thanks to the folks that ha you know put this other content on here to help us out when we're trying to figure this stuff out too. And if anybody has any ideas on how to make this machine run better, you know, it's an IRE 20, it's a IR Industries machine. I'd, I'd be glad to take the advice. Thanks y'all, take care.